This fresh, juicy, pulpy red ball is a part of most of the delicacies that we relish while eating. But can you tell me whether a tomato is a vegetable or a fruit? Some say it's a fruit, while others say it's a vegetable. And which is the right answer? Let's find that out. To know this, we must first know what exactly a fruit is. For a lay person, it's simply a pulpy sweet edible part of the plant. But a botanist will define it precisely in a different way. A fruit is defined as the seed-bearing structure, which is actually the ripened or the mature ovary developed post-fertilization. So in a typical flower, after fertilization, the petals wear off, this part, that is the ovary, develops into a pulpy fruit and these ovules into seeds. So this is how a typical fruit appears to us, right? Yes, this is how it looks when cut. Now, if we were to label this fruit, we would basically divide it into two major parts. This central region as the seed and the surrounding pulpy region as the pericarp. The seed mainly has the embryo, which is located here. This is surrounded by the nourishing tissue called the endosperm. And this complete unit is surrounded by a tough covering called the seed coat, meant mostly for protection. The pericarp, on the other hand, is the edible part. It consists of the outermost thin epicarp, or also called the exocarp. The word originates from the Greek word epi, meaning above or upon, and carp meaning fruit. So this is the outermost layer present on the fruit. Next is the middle layer called the mesocarp. The term meso in Greek means middle and carp, as we know, is fruit. This is usually pulpy or juicy in most of the fruits. So it is mainly this part which is consumed by animals when a fruit is eaten. Lastly, we have the endocarp, the term endo means within or inside. So it is the last layer of the pericarp which surrounds the seed. Depending upon the fruit, endocarps can be either membranous or thick. These were the parts of a typical fruit. Now tell me, do all fruits have this kind of structure? Do they all look similar? No, right? Fruits like pineapple, berries, almonds and melons. All of these look completely different. So don't these have the layers that we just discussed? Of course they do. Yet these fruits are different from each other. That means fruits come in various types. So let's understand the various types of fruits in detail. Classification of fruits can be done in a variety of ways. We will have a look at the two major ways of classifying fruits. The first basis is on the parameter of the morphology of the fruit and the second parameter would be the part of the plant from where the fruit develops. Let us begin with each one by one in the next part.